Hey everyone, Extreme here. So let's have a look at today's news. What's happening in the markets and what is going on in the crypto world. Let's start with Bitcoin drops after Musk suggests Tesla may sell holdings. Says it hasn't yet. Elon Musk cannot stop talking about Bitcoin and Dogecoin. And indeed, every time he says something, the market either go up or down. So what happened? Update. After a steep sell-off over the weekend and early Monday to as low as 42185 Bitcoin's price bounced just over 4500 Bitcoin's weekend price slide took the largest cryptocurrency down to nearly $42,000 before it rebounded to just over $45,000, down 8.9% over the past 24 hours. That's the biggest drop in quite a while. It was the first straight daily decline, coinciding with a series of tweets by Tesla's CEO Elon Musk, during which he intentionally failed to outright deny that his electric car company has sold or could soon sell all its more than 1 billion holdings of Bitcoin. Because of the criticism he received after suspending the world's largest cryptocurrency as a form of payment. Later he clarified that Tesla has not sold any Bitcoin. Yes, he did clarify it later on, but it was too late as there was panic selling going on. Indeed, Musk tweeted at 2.48pm ESD in a response to a tweet by Twitter handle Crypto Whale which said that Bitcoiners are going to slap themselves next quarter when they find out Tesla dumped the rest of their Bitcoin holdings. And here's the tweet as you can see. Mr. Well, Bitcoiners are going to slap themselves next quarter when they find out Tesla dumped the rest of their Bitcoin holdings. With the amount of hate Elon Musk is getting, I wouldn't blame him. And then Elon Musk replied, Indeed. By implying indeed, everyone thought Tesla has sold their Bitcoin. And this caused a major drop in the market. Bitcoin's price dropped immediately after the tweet to near 45100 Eventually sank to a low as $42,185. All of this, just by one man's tweet, a single word on someone else's tweet. Bitcoin bounced to above $45,000 after Elon Musk confirmed that Tesla has not sold its Bitcoin holdings. Some 10 hours after the story was published, he tweeted, to clarify speculation, Tesla has not sold any Bitcoin. Was 10 hours too late? How many people has lost money just because of a tweet and one word? Earlier today, Musk also tweeted at Peter McCormack, who posted a Twitter thread about Musk's criticism of Bitcoin and support for Dogecoin, saying that Obnoxious threats like this make me want to go all in on Dodge. At press time, Dodge was changing hands at around 50 cents, down 5.1% in the past 24 hours, according to Coindesk. So it all started with one tweet and the major news that caused the market to go red and down. But there's an upside. Let's see the rest of the news. Elon Musk tweets BT price bottom. Five things to watch in Bitcoin this week. We're not going to look at all five things, but the major ones. 
It's all about Allen and Twitter provides the backdrop to an ongoing battle between Holtlers and the Godfather. Bitcoin is nearing 40,000 this week as Dodge father Alan Musk deal out pure pain to holders. What's next? After a traumatic weekend for many crypto investors, Monday is setting the stage for the next chapter in the wild 21 bull market. CoinGraph takes a look at five factors that could shape what Bitcoin and altcoins do next. Musk tweet hits key Bitcoin technical level. It's all about one man yet again this week, Elon Musk. In characteristics fashion, the Tesla and SpaceX CEO caused uproar on Twitter when he came out bearish on Bitcoin. Bitcoin USD sold off immediately on news that Tesla was holding Bitcoin payments for his products, but for Musk, this was not enough. Further tweets over the weekend, including criticism of Bitcoin's decentralization and how he believes in crypto, added fuel to the fire. It was a hint that Tesla might already be planning to sell its holdings. However, that caused the most misery. Bitcoin fell to near $42,000, retesting the, this previous all-time high level before steadying as Musk stressed that no sell has occurred. People panicked and a sell-off happened without any clarification. Just rumors and reading between the lines like someone said. With Musk versus the cryptocurrency community beginning to look like a full-on war, Bitcoin is this unsurprisingly volatile as all eyes remain on the Twitter battlefield. At the time of writing, Bitcoin was trading at around 44,800, still down 8.7% over the past 24 hours. As analyst Alex Kruger noted, however, the clarification tweet may be unwittingly acting as a local bottom signal. As Musk posted it just as Bitcoin USD hit a key 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level. Alan Musk must be an outstanding technical analyst, he commented. What is the chances of tweeting at such a key level? When everyone is panicking, a tweet comes out and it bounces. His Tesla has not sold any Bitcoin. Tweet was posted exactly at Bitcoin's key technical level, the 68, 61.8 Fibonacci line at $42,845. So now, from being in a red and everything going down, we started turning orange as things started to settle down. And now, for the last part of news, but the good news. Fundstrat's Tom Lee boosted Bitcoin target 25% despite Musk's criticism. All of these articles are posted according to the time they were published. And the latest one is this one from Tom Lee. Tesla's recent declaration it would no longer be accepting Bitcoin paired with bearish statements by its CEO Elon Musk have done little to shake the certainty of investment research firms Fundstrat Global Advisors. The New York based advisory business has increased Bitcoin's price target of 2021 to USD amount of $125,000, up 25% of their previous target. I don't think it's going to get people negative on Bitcoin, 
but it's going to get people to focus on the problems that are being created by digital assets. Tom Lee, managing partner of Fundstrat, told Business Insider, it is probably better to view it as a call to action for the Bitcoin's industry to focus on renewables or more efficient ways to prove of work. Jack Dorsey, Square confirmed that their BTC strategy hasn't changed and they are deeply committed to this community, including working towards a greener future through our Bitcoin Clean Energy Initiative. The company said it continues to access their Bitcoin investments on an ongoing basis in February. Square said they spent $170 million dollars on Bitcoin. So ladies and gentlemen, it started green, it calmed down, and now we're all green again with things looking better. What's your thoughts on it? Corner, comment at the bottom, tell me what you think, and please hit the like button if you agree. Have a great one, take care.